If you use ChatGPT to write anything for you, which is obviously the most common way we would use ChatGPT, I'm sure you've been frustrated more than once with its default tone and the default writing style that it gives you back. In fact, if you ever use it like I use it for writing email copy, sales copy, anything for a script, YouTube script, video ads, every single time it writes overly promotional, it sounds like spam mail, or it sounds like some pushy salesman trying to get you to buy something you don't want, right? But there is a way to fix that. The problem is when it does this, it doesn't sound anything like you and you would never write anything like that. And this is where most people actually quit using ChatGPT, Bard and other AI tools like it because they just don't take the time to figure out how to prompt it correctly. And then once they figure that out, everything is gonna become a lot more useful. So let me show you how to fix it. So I'm gonna share a set of simple custom instructions and if you don't know what custom instructions are, with the free version of ChatGPT or the paid version of ChatGPT, you have a box called custom instructions. This is where you could instruct ChatGPT at the account level. I'll share six of these custom instructions with you. They could be used as prompts too. So when you start a chat, you could just use them as a prompt. You don't have to save them at the account level. That, that will save you some time though. And I think this will solve the ChatGPT writing problem. Okay, I'm gonna use GPT-4 here. You could use the free version of ChatGPT if you don't have the paid version. It's gonna work the same. I'm gonna paste my prompt here. Let me walk you through exactly what this is gonna do. This is the same prompt I want you to use, but one of the things here is gonna be a little bit different based on your writing style. Analyze the following text. So I'm gonna insert some text at the end. And then give me a set of instructions. This is where it's gonna draft the prompts for us that I could use to write exactly in the same tone, writing style, reading level, and delivery. Those are the four things that I want to get out of the sample writing here. Tone, writing style, reading level, and delivery. So again, copy and paste this from the description. And then right at the end of it, you wanna copy and paste something you wrote personally. So this would be for email copy, an email you wrote. For a script, a script you wrote. This is best for your own writing as the example. You could use other people's writing if you wanna analyze that as well. In this case, I'm gonna take the script that I wrote for the beginning of the, this video. And this is the writing style I gave it. I gave it a little bit here, but obviously the more you give it, the better. You could do a good job analyzing it. And this is one of the main reasons I use GPT-4. It does a better job analyzing writing style than the free version. But right here it says, direct and conversational tone. So this is kind of the tone that he found based on my writing says directly speaks to the reader in a conversational tone, casual language, approachable, problem solution structure. So you get all this out of it, but the second part of the prompt is gonna give us something very useful here. It's gonna tell us the different things we need to add inside of a prompt so it would write like that moving forward. And I'm gonna use this at the account level. So start to identify a problem, address the reader's problem directly. So this is how my example of my writing actually was structured. Use simple and clear language, avoid complex vocabulary. Write as if you're having a conversation with a friend. This is one of my favorite prompts I ever use for writing anything. This is typically how I like to talk, that's my delivery. Yours might be a little bit different, but I think this single prompt is gonna really help you. Even this one, include personal touches, I'll show you, let's explore together. So again, based on my writing style. This is why it's critical that you analyze your own writing style or someone else you wanna mimic. That way it actually does give you some useful things here. Maintain a casual yet respectful tone, friendly and approachable. So I could read through it, make sure you read through it. And this time I got seven of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the seven. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click my little profile icon down the bottom corner here. And I'm gonna go to this tab, custom instructions. Now I deleted what I usually put in the second box so I could show you this. If you haven't used custom instructions before, this first box is all about you. So a little bit of background is gonna give you some information here. Typically, I just wrote my name is Saj, I'm the CEO of Skill Leap AI. So my company, my name. So then when I say, go write me a email about an upcoming event, it would know that information. I even gave it a link to the website. So then it could actually do a Google or a Bing search here if it's using GPT-4 to find the information on the website too. But right now, I don't wanna worry about that. This is what we need to worry about. In fact, this could be empty and this is gonna work the exact same way. If I paste this, this is gonna basically now be saved at the account level. So those seven things 
that I included are all going to be over here. Again, I'll go ahead and link some of these in the description. I've done this a few different times actually. Each time it analyzed a different set of text and I picked the different areas that I liked best. So this last one, for example, include actionable steps. Just like the text, five custom instructions ensure your writing includes clear and actionable steps for the reader. So this is one I didn't get this time around. I got the last time around when I analyzed a different set of text, again, from another script that I personally wrote. So now that I have this, I could go ahead and save it. And now if I go ahead and start a new chat here, and this was a simple prompt, write an email copy about an upcoming course, leave the information you don't have as placeholders, unlock the power of generative AI for your business, join our upcoming course. This is exactly like how I would write, right? I'm not overly promotional. I don't want to promise things that don't make sense. And it's going to do a really good job breaking down the problem, basically talking about the target audience here, a little bit about uh, the benefit of the course and then breakdown of step by step and use the instructions they had at the account level. This is going to save me a ton of time. It knows the website again from my custom instructions very useful. So some of the things I need to fill out, which I could again, add to my custom instructions, like my email or business phone number and things like that. Those could be always as part of my custom instructions. So it doesn't have to uh, be told that every single time, but try this for yourself with your own writing style. And I also recommend custom GPTs. Custom GPTs could basically be these little mini GPTs with a set of custom instructions, not at the account level though at the little GPT level. So you could have lots of these working for different parts of your company, one for email, one for scripts, one for ads. That's how I've set mine up. I do have a different video that covers custom GPT. So I recommend watching that next and I'll see you next time.